uh, Greg Geddens on the telephone line, who's been busy out there this morning getting the track ready for a big event this afternoon down there at Percival Road. Uh, good morning, Greg, and welcome to the programme. Yeah, good day. Thanks. Well, you got the track all set up for this afternoon? Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, got a bit to do, so, um, yeah, should we all go at one o'clock? One o'clock starts at one. Yep. And how many have you got entering uh, today? Uh, about 140 riders, so it should be pretty good racing. So where do they all come from, Greg? Uh, come from all over New Zealand, up north, down south. So we've got quite a few local riders today, so we've got about 40 local um, members racing, so it should be quite good. So the meeting is a special meeting, is it, if you've got them nationally coming? What's the uh, so NQM meeting is what you need to do to qualify for nationals, so... Ah, do about four of those, and then you can qualify to go and do nationals. Right. I wonder what the NQM stands for now. No, national qualifying meeting. Ah, yeah, <laughs> as simple as that. Now there's a bit of money up for grabs as well, too. I believe. Yeah, there's a thousand dollars at this one. So um, our club president Dave Layton thought that he'd mix it up a bit this season and put um, a flat net meeting on. So a lot of elite riders and. Yeah, these days they used to clip and uh, he decided to bring the old school back and everyone has to race it in flat. When you say uh, clips and flats for us a non uh, BMX, uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, clips are where you clip into a pedal. Oh, I see, yes. Yeah, and flats are just what you see kids riding around on, you know, just, just in a flat pedal. Now, I should imagine that makes a fair bit of difference with all that undulation. Well, now, your club members have done very well at the Oceania meeting held in Auckland. Tell us about that. We've um, got the Coleman's, uh, Tom, he, he got, um, what was it, fifth. So he made the final and got fifth. And my boy, he ended up getting fourth. And um, we've also got uh, Liam Perry, eight, the uh, elite men. All right, OK. So it goes right through to that grade, yep. What about, Gavin, yeah, yeah. what about Gavin Coleman? He got fifth, didn't he, too? Yep, yep, Gavin Coleman, that's right. Yeah. So the whole family does be a neck. Right. Um, his wife rides as well. So it's see. a good family sport. Yes. I suppose if you sit in that family, get on your bike and go out for a ride, the whole family just disappears. No no food cooked that day. Hey, listen, yeah. um, what age groups do they go through to here, Greg? Uh, they do five and unders as well. Right. Um, but it goes all the way up to... Um, so this one is 30 plus. Okay. Uh, you can get a lot of um, older guys that like doing it. They're sick of watching their kids doing all the racing, so they won't ever go as well. Fair enough, too. So when you come to national meetings, do you have master's grades as well, do you? Yeah, you uh, get into the elite guys and pros and that, and... It's quite good to watch. Yeah, I bet it is too. I should yeah. imagine the kids are just about to take out some of these older guys, but uh, that's beside the point. Um, yeah, but it's we'll, a lot of fun, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. And we've got another young guy, Tiffany Kennedy. He's, He's pretty much up in, well up in New Zealand too, isn't he? Or did had some titles for New Zealand some time ago. Am I thinking of the right thing? Yeah, he actually uh, got first in the uh, cruises at Oceana and fourth in the 20-inch car. Wow. So, a lot of talent in the club by the sounds of it. So how many in the club and the Capity Club altogether? Yeah. Well, we've got, um, I'm not quite sure of the numbers, but we've got 40 members racing, and that's the guys that have got the New Zealand licence. And a lot of guys will join a club that won't get the New Zealand licence, which allows you to race away. So right. Just you know, save up 60 plus the legion. And is it growing? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> um, we had training days on Wednesday at four thirty, and we got um, Sam Coffin and Cara Layton and Gavin Coleman. There. Yes, and that just encourages kids to come along. And we also have a mini mocker class, which is balance bike, oh, and we get them racing before the racing on Friday night, which is the um, racing kicks off at six. So they have a bit of fun, and it gets them all involved and. Okay. Right. Well, they can pop down today, anybody interested, and have a look at this great meeting that you've got on, 140 riders and plenty of money up for grabs. And uh, yep. if they want to become involved, they can get hold of one of your committee members and uh, have a little chat about it. Yeah, that's right. All right. And um, 
even I'm racing today, so... Goodness <laughs> gracious. What age group are you, uh, Greg? Uh, 30 plus. Right. Well, take it easy, won't you? Yeah, oh, not too easy. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have a chat to you next Saturday if we can, so we can get the results from, uh, well, I'll try and get the results from this meeting onto our local sports news during the week, but we'll have a chat with you next Saturday if you're available. Yeah, no worries. Good on you. Thanks very much for that, Greg. Okay, cool. Greg Giddens from the Kempity BMX Club. a big meeting on down there, and uh, there'll be quite a number of, well, 140 riders. There'll be a lot of spectators. So if you want to go down and see the sport, it's been becoming very popular in New Zealand, or has been over the years, the Kempity BMX Club would welcome you to go down and enjoy. Beach FM, it's uh, 28 to 9.